the next working that we have to do is for depreciation but to calculate the depreciation we should also know the fixed assets so first we will have to look at the fixed assets now if i go back to my assumptions page and i scroll down you can see that i have my initial cost of molds that is one fifty thousand dollars so basically we have only one fixed asset here that is tangible and that is the molds so initial cost is one fifty thousand dollars and there isn't any other cost over the whole life of five years there are no additional expenses into the fixed assets now you can do it two ways one is the easier way and you know that will get my job done for now but that will not be a sophisticated way uh, for a, a, a more comprehensive way that can cover every kind of scenario so what i will do is i will first show you the easy way but then i will be showing you the proper way so that you know if there is a difference in the scenario that you are actually handling in handling in your life you should be able to do that as well so i'll go back to my schedules and i will say first of all let me add here that are fixed assets and now fixed assets here are given in my assumptions page which is one fifty thousand dollars and then i will talk about the depreciation percentage which is coming from the assumptions page again that is 20 percent and now i can say that my depreciation per year is equals this value multiply by this value and then you know i can uh, copy this formula before that let me make it absolute uh, f4 and f4 and now we can copy that to all five years and you have calculated your depreciation within seconds there is no problem with this this calculation is right and for this scenario if you use that there is no problem in this now one last thing that we have to do is also to calculate the net book value of fixed assets so what is net book value let me first explain that to you net book value is basically the value of asset after depreciation so the fix the fixed asset value at the beginning of the year was one fifty thousand dollars and then we also deducted the depreciation and that became one twenty thousand dollars now after this the next year net book value will be you know the previous net book value minus thirty thousand dollars that is ninety thousand dollars and now i will copy paste this to all the cells on my right and you can see that each year my asset is depreciating by thirty thousand dollars and its value is falling from 150 to 120 and then 90 60 30 and zero now this is the value that is going to be reported in the balance sheet at the end of each year now definitely we have done both the workings that we needed depreciation and net book value and there is nothing wrong with this but what if if the scenario is a little difficult there are additions and deletions in each year or maybe at different intervals how we can handle that so we should rather be applying a more comprehensive way of you know uh, calculating the depreciation and net book value and for that what i will do is i will make an alternative schedule and that is i would calculate fixed assets at the beginning of the year and i will be doing that at cost for this line then i will be showing up all the additions then i will be showing up all the deletions which would be negative value and then finally i will have fixed assets at the end of the year at cost now in this case we have to start from the first year and the fixed asset cost as given in the assumptions page is one fifty thousand dollars now here in this scenario near there is no addition and no deletion so i'll add, add that to zero and just i will just copy paste them to all the cells on my right fixed assets at the end of the year are going to be opening value plus addition and minus deletion and this is going to be my ending value and now 
we can copy paste this formula to all the cells but before that one thing that we have to do is we have to find this value here and that is fixed asset at the beginning of the year from the next year this value will be coming from the last year so at the beginning of year 2 the fixed asset value will be the same that was at the end of last year so I would say this value should be the last year value and now the closing value is going to be the same that is opening value plus addition minus deletion equals closing so rather than typing it again I will copy and paste the previous one press F2 to check and everything is fine and now this column is ready to be copy pasted to all the remaining cells and you can see that we have reached at the point where I'm saying that my fixed assets at the end of each year at their original cost is $150,000 right now I have to add the depreciation rate here and that is depreciation rate and this is coming from the assumptions page and this is equals to this rate here and now I would make it absolute and copy paste this to all the cells because this rate is applicable to all the cells and I would also mention it at cost since you know uh, this is a straight line basis this rate is applicable at cost at whatever the assets which are available at the end of the year so with this I would say now let us apply the depreciation rate here and depreciation And I would say equals this value multiply the depreciation rate this is 30,000 copy and paste this to all the cells and you have depreciation of $30,000 in each year now after the depreciation we should be talking about the calculation of accumulated depreciation accumulated depreciation and what is accumulated depreciation it is all the depreciation to date so whatever the depreciation has been done to date that will be covered here and for the first year I would say this is just this year depreciation but for the remaining years this will be the previously accumulated depreciation plus this year depreciation and now you can copy paste and you have your answers and by the way as I told you the formula should be same across all the columns as much as possible here you can say we have different formula and here we have different formula don't worry we can simply copy and paste this one here as well and what we have done is simply linking it to blank cell the previously accumulated depreciation that is in this column plus this year depreciation that is in this column so that becomes total accumulated depreciation and you know there is no previous value anyway so we don't have to worry about that but we have written a formula that we can copy paste to all the cells now with accumulated depreciation all we have to do now is to calculate the net book value of the asset cost minus accumulated depreciation that will be this cost minus accumulated depreciation and if I copy paste that to all the cells you can see I have my right answers now but since I have well answers are correct everything is correct but since I have spoken about doing the right schedules the way we have done for fixed assets as well we should be adjusting the accumulated depreciation as well and this is basically calculated this way so accumulated depreciation is I'm just doing the second working here and I will delete this line then accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year and then we have this year depreciation and then we have deletion now what is this now if you are not accountant you may not get this point but don't worry this is simple uh, so deletion is basically if we have sold an asset we will be you know removing that assets accumulated depreciation from this balance here right so you can see this balance is increasing each year but what if the asset is sold itself we should also be removing that depreciation from the accumulated depreciation so this is related to that and then we will calculate accumulated depreciation at the end of the year so accumulated depreciation at the beginning I'm just going to talk about that in a minute 
now this air depreciation is going to be coming from here and then deletion in this case is zero there is no asset removal in this case and accumulated depreciation at the end of the year is going to be accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year plus this year depreciation minus deletion and that becomes accumulated depreciation at the end of the year now when I go to the next year accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year is coming from the last year so I will link it to this cell and similarly for this first column as well I'm going to link it to this cell so that you know we can copy paste the cell to all the columns so I'll copy and paste this to all the remaining cells and now you can see we have depreciation for each year and now I will remove this line that was just a simplified version to simplified and now we can talk about net book value of the asset net book value at the end of the year and that is going to be cost that is this one here fixed assets at the end of the year cost minus accumulated depreciation and now we can copy and paste that and here we have net book value at the end of each year so now we have a better version of our fixed assets calculation so i will remove this very simplified working that we have done that actually did the job in this simple scenario and now we can you know call it fixed assets and depreciation heading and then we have all the workings here now the first thing that we need to do is go to PNL and link our depreciation value so our depreciation value is calculated here and we can copy paste to all the cells and now that we have this value of you know what we say net book value at the end of each year non-current assets value we can link that to our balance sheet as well so i'll go to balance sheet right now and i will say property plant equipment in this uh, heading uh, in this title i'm going to paste my molds basically that is our equipment so i'll link that to schedules and net book value and we can copy paste this to all the cells and you can see we have properly done property plant equipment value the next thing that we have to do is to work on amortization now that is going to be very similar work but we are going to do that in the next lecture but before that i would say please try that yourself and then come back in the next lecture to check your answers